verse 5. Let me show you something God taught me. How many of you have been in a situation where humanly speaking, you don't know what to do about it? I mean a serious situation. Some of you is an issue of life and death. I want to show you a mystery. No matter who you are in life, a time must come when life will lift up resistances against you you will exhaust every knowledge you currently know whether it is on your job whether it is in family there are times you will be stranded of ideas face to face it's not lack of being spiritual i cry to god and say lord what is the way out when people are stuck at a level in business in life in ministry in ministry you get to a point where you don't know what to do again you've done everything to do let me show you the mystery are you ready it says trust in the lord with all your heart <laughs> and lean not unto what so the first point is you have understanding you are not daft you don't need to ask god lord do you know i'm daft he already told you i'm aware you have understanding correct next verse this is where the miracle is everyone please read if you are anointed one to read stop when you get to a crossroad in your life house of david hear me because it will happen in any area of your life a time must come when you will be stuck and standing before you and around you will be people hoping that their prophecies of doom over your life will come to pass finally he has been trapped finally he has been trapped they prophesied it they hoped you will fall and right now you are in a situation that if god does not intervene what they said will happen let me show you the key he says in all your ways he uses a very subtle term ark knowledge him please open the eyes of your spirit acknowledge him and then the reward is that he will direct all of a sudden a road will come out remember he can become a road i am the way are we together so it's not just that he will show you there is no way physically then he comes to become the way and say follow me imagine that i'm stuck here and somebody comes and i don't see this again i see road and then i start following it when you find out this principle those who look for your downfall will keep looking forever because when men are cast down and you are part of them all of a sudden god will route another mystery and you will come out like no smell of smoke two people in the same situation one escapes and leaves the other as if God is not fair let me show you the key in all your ways the moment this is why testimonies are important in the life of a believer listen carefully testimonies are a documentation of the faithfulness of God every time God gives you a testimony you should have a record of it I don't mean just writing it archive it because it will be the stimulator of the next one listen carefully when you get to a crossroad where there is nothing he says forget about the problem turn back and start saying where is the god that saved me yesterday where is the one who i would have died now i'm looking for 300 members where is the one that gave me grace to buy the first mic in all your ways let me tell you how to acknowledge god listen carefully we call this mystery many names in the body of christ this key you know what it means to acknowledge look at the way your dear pastor introduced me you see that oh there is a man here there is this and that if you are a businessman sir and i'm about to introduce you in a very prestigious way i begin to list your accolades the things you have done in 1999 he was awarded the most successful businessman in lagos in 2000 against all odds he had the highest returns in his bank in 2001 and everybody's listening and saying ladies and gentlemen we cannot continue until we rise up on our feet and acknowledge so 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 and so in all your ways there is no door it's not that it cannot be opened there is no door and the bible says forget about that rent issue and turn to him 
and start singing a song and say lord i remembered when i wrote jesse i didn't write one paper it still came out a where is the god who gave me that a i may be so old but i've forgotten leave rent issue in all your ways you can do it in a dance come on yoruba people you can do it in a song listen this is what we call the mystery of praise it's not just praise it's a system in the kingdom it's a bailout a mysterious bailout system pastor the nation of israel applied this every time their enemies encompass them and there was no hope they would just gather around and say leave the issue of enemies you are good and your mercy is forever hallelujah it was a chant you are good and your mercy is forever hallelujah a brother was supposed to marry you and he said something happened i've changed my mind say no 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 i must force this it must work uh -uh. the bible says you are at a crossroad turn back lock your door with tears coming in your eyes write down your prayer request and say lord i am dancing before you i rejoice before you the bible says the moment you do that there is a promise a way out for you move mountains you cause walls to fall and with your power you perform miracles there is nothing absolutely that's impossible so i'm standing here only because you made a way you made a way don't know how but you did it In second chronicles 20 it was clear that three nations were coming together to defeat the nation of israel and the bible says it was clear defeat was imminent and all of a sudden he said this one is not just the issue of fighting with swords gather the singers and begin to invoke his goodness it was the song of miriam i will sing unto the lord for he has triumphed gloriously the horses and his rider brothers and sisters you are wasting your victory with lack of testimonies you have so many testimonies and you've thrown them where is the god who brought you to lagos when you came to lagos you wanted to rush back now you are two years and just because there is no job you are crying in front of a man's office lock the door and say father when i came and i stopped at the bus stop there was no way out you called a mysterious person to help me is it a job you cannot give me i dance before you i dance before the god of heaven listen a woman danced before a king and removed the head of a prophet dance before a king and even a prophet's head went as a prize They asked Bishop Oyedeko, Kenneth, Kenneth Copeland asked him, Pastor, and said, you claim we are the ones who trained you in the matters of faith. How come you have so much crowd? And he laughed. He said, I dance every one of them into that tabernacle. I dance every one of them. A dance is not just shaking your body. It's a deep mystery in the spirit.